Thomas the Tank Engine was on his way to Knapford Station with Annie and Clarabelle. As he made his way to the station, he noticed a familiar looking engine sitting at one of the platforms. Thomas was sure it was Mallard who had visited not too long ago. He came up to say hello. Mallard! Thomas peeped. You've come back. It's good to see you again. Oh, I'm not Mallard, the engine laughed. I'm his sister, Bitten. Thomas became embarrassed. I I'm sorry, I it's just... Well, no need to be sorry, said Bitten. People often get us confused sometimes, especially when we've been painted the same colour. Thomas looked back at Bitten's train. Are you here for a rail tour? he asked. These aren't the coaches that are usually pulled by visiting engines. I'm on a special extended tour with these teakwood coaches, Bitten explained. They've called it the Teak Special. And I just noticed, said Thomas looking back, you have a second tender, just like Flying Scotsman. That actually is Flying Scotsman's other tender, said Bitten. My tour will last a bit longer than the others, so he lent it to me. Presently, Gordon puffed into the station with the express. He noticed the visiting engine too, along with the second tender. Hello, Gordon, said Thomas. Have you met Bitten yet? Gordon said nothing. He eyed the visitor suspiciously, then puffed away. What was that all about? asked Bitten. I'm not sure, said Thomas. That night in the sheds, Thomas told all the engines about Bitten. He may also notice, said Thomas, that she's got a second tender. The reason why is that she's stolen it, Gordon interrupted. Of course, it's the only plausible answer. They've hardly any coal and water on the mainland. My brother, Flying Scotsman, said it himself. Other steam engines over there would be dying to have another tender like him. Don't be silly, Gordon, Thomas huffed. That's not true at all. She needs it because she's on an extended tour. She told me herself. But Gordon wouldn't hear it. As Thomas continued talking about Bitten, Gordon made a plan. I'll take that tender with me when I leave in the express tomorrow. When I get to the end of the line, I'll leave it there for Scotsman to collect. But he said it to himself. The next morning, Gordon made his way to the station to take the express. He saw the second tender sitting on a siding. Now's my chance, Gordon thought. And he coupled up to the tender. He was about to make his way out when the yard manager called for him. Oi! He said, What are you doing that then? That's forbidden. Yes, of course it's forbidden. I was just, um, Gordon thought for something to say. I was just seeing that it was topped off before she left today. You know, making myself really useful and all that. Well, that's nice of you, said the yard manager. Right then, carry on. As he walked away, Gordon sighed with relief. That was a close one, he said, and puffed away to collect the express. As Gordon was leaving the station with the second tender in tow, he didn't notice that Thomas had seen everything. Later that day, Bitten's rail tour train was due to leave for the mainland. Bitten searched all over the yard, but couldn't find the tender anywhere. The rail tour manager started to worry. And you're sure you've looked where you put it last, he said. Of course, sir, 
said Bitten. I've looked all around this yard three times over. It's as if it vanished into thin air. This is most peculiar, said the Fat Controller. The only other reason is that another engine has taken it. That's exactly what happened, sir, said Thomas, pulling up. The Fat Controller stared. Whatever do you mean, Thomas? When Gordon left for the express this morning, Thomas explained, I saw him taking the tender with him. That's it then, the Fat Controller said. I'll telephone to stop his train at the nearest station. He turned toward Bitten and the rail tour manager. Once I find where he is, I'll send your train to meet him. Yes, sir, they said. Meanwhile, the express had stopped at a station to collect more passengers. Gordon waited for the guard to blow his whistle and wave his green flag. It seemed to take longer than expected. Come on, grunted Gordon. I must keep the schedule, or the passengers are sure to complain. Just then, the station master came and spoke to Gordon. The Fat Controller had called to stop the express, he said. You have something that belongs to the visiting engine. The rail to a train will be along to collect it shortly. Gordon was cross. She's trying to take Scotsman's tender away, he huffed. Well, try as she might, I won't let her have it. Presently, the rail to a train came into the station. The Fat Controller and the rail to a manager spoke severely to Gordon. You have caused confusion and delay, the Fat Controller scolded. That tender is needed for Bitten's train. Now the express and our rail to a train will be late, the rail to a manager added. What do you have to say for yourself? This tender doesn't belong to her, Gordon pleaded. It belongs to my brother, Flying Scotsman. Railways on the mainland hardly have any coal and water. Any steam engine would do anything to get a tender like this. If that's so, said Bitten, then why did Flying Scotsman let me borrow it for my rail tour? Gordon stared at Bitten. He did what? he asked. My rail tour is a teak special, explained Bitten. It's an extended tour. In fact, it's the longest tour this year. When I told Flying Scotsman about how long I'll be travelling, he lent it to me. So, Thomas was right after all, Gordon murmured. He now felt ashamed and looked down at his buffers. Now do you understand? asked the Fat Controller. Bitchin didn't steal anything. Yes, sir, said Gordon. Sorry, sir. Bitten was soon coupled to the second tender and was ready to set off. I'm sorry for thinking wrong about you, said Gordon. If my brother can trust you with his tender, then you must be a really useful engine. I guess you could say that, said Bitten. And if you don't believe me, you can ask him yourself when he comes here next week. Gordon was shocked. He's coming here? Next week? He spluttered. Oh, there's so much to do. I must get my brass polished. I must get a new coat of paint. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, 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 oh,